Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me on Sealed for Good. Have you remembered to subscribe? If not, please do so now. Today, we're talking about liquid versus sheet membrane systems. So there are, there's a train of thought out there that you're either a sheet membrane applicator or you're a liquid membrane applicator but in Gripset's position, we always understand that there is room for both. And many applications are really, really, really the same. So you need to understand what the properties are of both systems and when you can use one over the other, or in Gripset systems, you can use them combined together, which is one of the biggest features of the Gripset systems. Now, liquid membranes in our range. There's the famous Gripset 30FC that the country knows, Gripset 51. There's the P39, there's the Multi-Pro, there's the LS Roof Coat. We've got a number of different liquid membrane systems in our range. And sometimes they are the products that give you a far more greater benefit over a sheet system when you may have a substrate that could be slightly undulating. It could be a mineral surface like a concrete or a screed surface where it needs a liquid membrane. It might need to have a system that's breathable. And that's where a liquid membrane can offer you the differences between a sheet, which is normally has high vapor barrier properties. And so understand that things like surface preparation, detailing, stand for both systems. But the liquid membranes you can use successfully as long as you understand the limitation of that product and what it's designed for. And even the liquid systems, we have products like our P39, where it can be used in conjunction with the LS roof coat on an external roof system where it's trafficable. So understanding how these products work, where they can be applied, and the benefits of them will help you then make a judgment call. Making that call is even easier once you understand the sheet membrane systems. So we have our BRW PFN, our BRW HD, the Express Lay system. Now these products, the benefits of a sheet membrane is uniform thickness, the ability for uh, particularly vertical and horizontal applications, bridging things like cracks and joints that are non-movement joints, far easier than what a liquid system can do, and also speed. And that is where a lot of the times you might find that you could be challenged with a project where you're on a short timeline and a liquid system may not offer you that. And that's where you go to the sheet system. However, there's applications where you can use the Express Lay with the Gripset 38FC, Express Lay with the P39, PFN with the 38FC, or the LS Roof Coat, or the P39, all the systems. Our detailing is always the same, okay? It's the gospel. Blaster proof or the BRW tapes at all wall floor junctions. You've got all our systems for drainage in terms of the butyl squares, collars around pipes. They stand for both liquid and sheet. So it's very, very simple. But once you understand the, the capability of the sheet system versus the liquid system, then you can approach a job and make the call that's best for you and your client. And in our GAP courses, we show that all the time. More importantly, that's how you become the better waterproofer and that's where you give more value to the industry. If you have an application where you think, I need to combine a liquid and a sheet system, or sometimes we've spoken about before, under and over screeds, where you might use a sheet and a liquid in that system that you're offering, the specifications are there for you and the assistance and support is there from our team. It is quite simple, but don't just think, oh, I'm just gonna go and use a liquid system this time or a sheet system this time. If you've got questions on how to combine them together, our team is around the country to help support you, or you've got 1-800-650-435. Don't forget to put your comments below. If you've got images or projects where you use both systems together, a liquid and a sheet, or a great application with either or, please post them in there, flick in the comments below. I'd, I'd like to see the questions so we can help answer them moving forward. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.